Are you in for week long expeditions into the desert, traversing dunes big enough to swallow entire towns in one sideways drift? Oh, to feel that oven hot wind dry as a bone on my face. There's more dust in my veins than water, I can tell you that much. It astonishes me that people up here are oblivious to the fact that it's our understanding of living in deserts that makes life up here on Mars even possible. The early days of Mars habitation experiments took place in the Gobi Desert and in Hawaii on the side of a barren volcano, not in a protected marshland in the Okavango, you get me? What did the last trees of the Black Forest give us except fuel for our final fires? The desert saved us. Oh, I mean, the irony is not lost on me, but no Sahara, no Amazon, no Gobi, no Mars. Where do you think the Amazon basin was getting all its fertile sand from? Blown over from Africa, that's where. How do we know how to recycle water to near 99% efficiency? The Gobi desert. There was always so much focus on saving the planet, saving the whales, saving bees, saving the trees. In the deserts, am I right? Make them green. <laughs> I knew it was over when those idiots deliberately tried to flood parts of the Sahara with one species of tree. I mean, come on. A publicity stunt by a French paper manufacturer with deeper pockets. And no one blinked an eye. It was meant to help, but the Sahara tree project literally poured salt into the wound. It started out well enough, but some unknown fungus wiped them all out, but not before they had sucked all the fertile phosphorus out of the sun blowing over the Atlantic, effectively salting the Amazon basin like an Italian grandmother making tomato sauce. And then there was no turning back. Deserts are why we exist at all, you know. Now as much as then, so history repeats itself. To paraphrase geologist William Graybow, the ancestors of modern man did not leave the trees, the trees left them. So, are we then the neo-great apes leaving the proverbial trees, the stars our new savannah? From that perspective, we didn't leave Earth so much as Earth left us. The desert was always one step ahead, and in a way, we started living on Mars before we even left. Ah yes, not all of us up here pine for the fjords. Put me in the desert camp for sure. That searing blue sky and endless horizon. I'm still not used to how close the horizon here is on Mars, and the strange sky still throws me off when I see it, and apparently I'm not the only one. The Recreation and Relaxation Department has asked me to remind those complaining about the red color filter on the windows of the Panorama Observation Deck that the sky on Mars is not blue, but salmon pink. So please bear that in mind when submitting your request to visit the Outer Domes. And also bear in mind that the waiting list is now double months long, so book early for the experience. Your typhoon to radio nostalgia from Mars. Let's take a trip into the desert.
brings us towards the end of this particular show. I hope you've enjoyed our rather geological excursion into the past. From music to stories and memories, Radio Nostalgia from Mars has it all. If you want to be involved with RNFM, have a story to tell, a memory to share, contact us via the usual intranet channels and leave a short message outlining your contribution. A big thank you to our show sponsor, OMAS, the no stress, no fuss drink for the ultra elite. And a big thank you to Corporate for allocating us this precious time and their resources on this tight beam to you. the show it's been an absolute pleasure to share this time with you we're playing out now with some uplifting melodic techno to remind us to always look onwards and upwards we may have traded blue skies for pink but don't forget we still live and love under the same sun Due to limited bandwidth, this transmission will repeat in 20 seconds. In 15 seconds. In 10 seconds. In 5 seconds. One second. Hello, all you Martians out there. It's your turn, fix foot, soul, with a bit of that old world flavor. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy, kick back, and reminisce. Take my hand, explain it. There will be no surprise, all I know 
is that we shouldn't be sad when we think of the wrong From Mars. Wow, what a way to start the show. Anna Chuchin with Take My Hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come into Soul Show, a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, bringing the story from Mars. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. 
It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. Or I could be trying to get into the head of a powerful Russian who knows the world wants his phone number. That's when the psychology kicks in, and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. <sighs> my boss. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than sense. Screaming at waiters, because, uh, you don't drink gin out of a glass like that. And Caesar salad is supposed to have eight pieces, eight pieces of chicken, you stunted fool. Stunted fool was his favorite insult. It's coming from a guy who was five foot and nothing. That was pretty much my life. 24-7. I traveled a lot, meeting clients all over the world. The Amazon, the Gulf, Siberia, Central Asia, the States, Singapore, everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. But it was fun. I mean, talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl some strange mix of Algiers and Paris, with some sprinkle of Havana. A dancer, naturally. So pretty. She'd turn a priest's head or give a nun a Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First, you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe in air. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. The Mars project was plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful, so I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks, Martian cement for the buildings. My pure little Emma has a future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. Men like me who saved humanity. Men like me who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Oh, some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now. And remain creatures of the world. You're a tight beam too. Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth. Thank you. 
takes us back. Stefan Malenkovic pining for blue skies, plus music on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior Section team leaders will convene for emergency counselling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments, and no games with groups larger than four people at a time per team. In the interim, teams are encouraged to take advantage of the half ration special on OMAS, the delicious and relaxing drink that takes the edge off of everything. Our next caller, Yamil, takes us into her world of food, smells, sensuality, blue skies, and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale, fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. I have nightmares. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia, not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I was 20, when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt different. Each country has a smell. Mars doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, bananas, Coconut, mama's food, ropa vieja, de la abuelita, el con gris, la yuca con mojito, the most beautiful San Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls, all of that make me into the person I am. So when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, 
touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent is by singing. Oh, come on. Como fue? No sé decirte. Como fue? No sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Fue una luz que iluminó todo mi ser. Tu risa como manantial. Lleno mi vida de inquietud. Fueron tus ojos o tu boca. Fueron tus manos o tu voz. Fue a lo mejor la impaciencia de tanto esperar tu llegada. Más no sé. No sé decirte cómo fue. No sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Slušajte radio nostalgiju sa Marsa. Thank you, Yamil. What a wonderful story. Reminds us that life is about so much more than just base survival. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. Needs no introduction. All you, all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment. Relax. And remember, with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. A Russian and an American work together in space. A very different sight from the Cold War arms or race. Whether Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001, Melville or Dostoevsky, you sing me or Jack London, two astronauts. Argued about art, values and international relations, two astronauts. Америка убила иракцев, убила чей арены и лунды. Она убила корейцев и вьетнамцев, распространяя демократию. Don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer on the stars, my friend. Your history is lost. You also inflicted scars. Two astronauts argued about art. That is an international relations. Two astronauts Speaking two tongues, but still for hours they talk. The same oxygen in their lungs, the same thrill on their space walk. international 
muzikou starých dobrých dám. Rádio nostalgie sa nás. Ale čo čo nie je odpávajú do prvých interplanetárnych hit dvou astronautov a anthem to the great evacuation. Zrejme jedna z najväčších populárnych request. Speaking of requests, please follow Habitat Protocols for Sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. So if you don't like it, put all waters recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to the toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony. And our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to meet a new mother on Mars. I am so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. As angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the Ark ship. I am so grateful for the opportunity to further human survival in our solar system. Speaking of the human project, I have some exciting news. Just a week ago, we welcomed our baby boy into the world. Words cannot express how overjoyed we are at welcoming little Maxim. Putting him to bed reminds me of my parents. Here in Tesla City, we can see the earth, tiny enough to fit in Maxim's hand. It pains me that my child might never experience the beauty of my home in the Hamptons the nature, coastline, the old lighthouse, and the food, the houses of our friends, our evening parties, full of life compared to this barren rugged terrain. I send my little Martian to sleep with a lullaby my mother sang for me. Thanks to these songs, I'm able to retain, at least on a rudimentary level, my mother tongue. She sang like this. Shushti, shushti, pambu solis, kores moka trozora, noć se tiho spušta na grad, za nebeski svodova, noć se tiho spušta na grad, za nebeski svodova. We can Thank you, Sophia, for that uplifting news and beautiful song. Life always finds a way. Just as precious as a new life is the water that sustains it. You may have noticed that it doesn't rain here on Mars, so another friendly reminder that showers are strictly limited to 30 seconds each, with no exceptions. Corporate is looking into extending this time frame, but is meeting resistance from Section BC who want the lab rat urine to be excluded from the water recycling program, which will actually reduce allocated water to 27 seconds. Want to say in this? Join our sectional weekly meetings and vote while sipping on a relaxing tube of OMAS. Feels good as it should. Radio nostalgia from Mars.
quickly. quickly indeed another blast from the past reminding us to savor each moment as it flies by speaking of savoring things the health and well-being department would like us to remind you that the popping and fizzing noise your dried food makes when you're adding water is perfectly normal and does not mean it has gone off or is contaminated the health and well-being department would also like to take this moment to remind you to take your bone density pills twice a week now as it was discovered the original dose is off by a factor of two right on with the show music and dancing have always been a mainstay of stress relief and letting go our next caller Merva recalls her teenage clubbing days with vivid memories of awkward first kisses and a life-altering club experience invoking a philosophical epiphany. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic to you, hope, inspiration, drama, radiant nostalgia from Mars. So, when I was a kid in Vienna, in high school, we used to learn all the German poets, like Best Friends, Goethe and Schiller. But the first poet that actually spoke to me was Heinrich Heine. Your home away from home. Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Now, as much as we appreciate our regular callers, there is one person we would really love to hear from. A man many of us owe our lives to. Our national hero, the Mars mission pilot, who brought us here safely so many years ago. Believe it or not, he finally made it back to Earth. After all these years, his dream finally came true. As we all know, he's at a very difficult time adapting to life here on Mars. We all have, just not in the public eye like him. So Charlie, this is Radio Nostalgia from Mars, personally reaching out to you. Charlie, we'd really appreciate it if you took some time to share a bit of the atmosphere from Earth with us. I'm sure many of our listeners are eager to hear your thoughts on being back. Just speak into the mic in your helmet. A few recorded words. Anything. probably listening now from a rooftop somewhere in Alphaville. 
so stay tuned to see if he responds. But to be honest, I don't think we'll be hearing from him anytime soon, sadly. Oh well, who can blame him? Let's not spoil his moment any longer. Continue our own trip down memory lane. that are now buried somewhere deep in my mind.